Hey guys, this is Anthony Young. I'm making another video for you guys. This one's going to be a really quick topic. I'm not going to do too much talking about this topic. I'm just going to kind of give you an overview as I see it. Um, because I know that there are um, a bunch of videos on YouTube that you can check out to, to check what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Do your own research. Find out, you know, look it up yourself. That way you're not just taking my word for it. Um, this is another topic. It's kind of loosely based in religion. But it also has a thing to do with the mind. You know what I mean? If you're willing to open your mind to see. Um, under my religious discoveries, of uh, me searching out different religions and looking through the pros and the cons of each of them. As y'all know, I'm a Christian. I will be a Christian to the day I die. I do not follow any church here because the churches were designed through slavery to keep certain... It's been... It's, it's been structured in such a way like any organization where they have the top, they have the head, and they have the tail. And God is up about equality for everybody. It's not a hierarchy. And so I think the religion has been corrupted by man. Put it that way. The religion has been corrupted by man. And if you notice that Jesus stood against religion too. Not spirituality in your connection with God, but the organization of religion itself. This video is about the Hebrews, the true Hebrews. Not those Jews you see over there in Israel. Not the Steins or all those other Jews. Those are Khazars. Those are, those are people who adapted the religion under the threat of the Muslim invasion. That's what they changed themselves into. They took the identity of the true Hebrews. Who were the true Hebrews? The same ones who were in slavery in Egypt and the ones who were in slavery in America. They are one and the same. The African American people, I myself and all the other African Americans in this country and abroad. Let me explain to you how I see this is possible. It says in the Bible, let's cut them off from being a nation. The only group of people in the entire world who do not have a country, because if you listen to the way the world politics tells you, the Jews, the Steins, and everyone else that was um, in the terrible Holocaust, because that was a very bad thing. All of those Jews supposedly belong to Israel, even though we know that not to be true. Even though I know that not to be true. They belong to Israel. Every other country has their own people. We have England, Americans. The only people who do not have a land to call their own is the African Americans. We are not Africans. When Jerusalem was invaded, we ran abroad. When you see these signs, know that the desolation of Israel is near. And we ran. The closest place we ran to was Africa. Well, Africans did not like us. And if you talk to Africans today, they still do not care for African Americans, quote unquote because we were never the same people. The same way a white person is not the same as another white person. A Greek person is not the same as a Jewish person. Same skin color, but different people. They call us African Americans because they retreated us from Africa. We were in Africa because we ran from Israel. Africans gave us up because we were not their people and we did not practice the same way they did. So they felt no loyalty to us in turn, turned us over to the slave catchers who in then turn brought us to all these different countries, including America. This is a topic that can go on forever and ever and ever. Um, and if you think about it, Jesus, people want to speculate about what color he was. I know him to be of, of black descent because of the scriptures, his hair like wool, his feet are burnt brass. Um, anything that is burnt in a furnace comes out what color? Black. I've never known anything to be burnt white. And if you look at the way he died, Jesus died a black man's death, hung on the tree. Now, if we look in the South, which is where I'm from, how many black people have you known to be hung on trees? And it says in the Bible that no servant is greater than his master. So if the master Jesus can be hung on a tree and crucified, what do you think the servants are going to be done as? I don't remember hearing these stories of a white man being lynched. But people can go on and on about that forever. That's not the point of this. You have to search your heart and find out if you truly believe that or if you don't believe that. And if you don't believe that, then why? And if you really, really feel angry about it, then maybe there's a seed of racism in there that really forces you to really feel that strongly and that hatred because you can believe in a savior that is the same color as you, but if he's something other than your color, 
then that anger is there. And if that anger is there, you have to search your own heart to figure out why that is. Like I said, this is going to be a real quick video. Nothing big, just giving you guys some of the thoughts that are in my mind. The African Americans that are here, the blacks, have been the only group of people without a nation. We've been tossed around, but we have no nation to call our own. And if you think about it, the only time when people say this conspiracy theory is like 9-11, 9-11, they say that this person did it, this person did it, this group did it, this group did it. When you know there's more than one explanation for a single story, that's when you know that there's a cover-up going on. Because they'll give you 40 different things to point your finger and look at instead of paying attention to what's really going on. All of these are distractions. This is the real, this is the real thing right here, but they give you all of this to keep you occupied from the truth. So we've gone from we've gone from Negroes to we've gone from niggers to Negroes to African American to from black to African American to any and everything else instead of what we truly are. If you look at the movie Roots, it would also tell you in that movie that we are Hebrews. We were used to build Egypt, and hey, why not use them to build America and every other country? They're really good at building. They're very strong, and they're already under this curse because we worship foreign gods trying to appease everyone else. And if you look in the black community today, so many entertainers are giving themselves over to worldly things and worshiping the devil to get the success that they want. Worldly gods, instead of the one true God, which is who they're made after. This is my personal opinion. Um, there's just different ways to look at it, and I encourage you to go do your own research and look it up yourself. These are just some of the things that I was looking up, and I looked at a lot of information about this, and actually corresponded with scripture, so that I know what I'm saying and that I'm not speaking out of turn. Um, it's up to you to make up your own mind. Everybody has their own opinions, and I encourage all different dialects. Um, if you notice in groups of religious people who are spiritually bound, black people have a necessity for God and church. Not the ones you see on TV, but if you look at black African American church, when they go to church, they go to church for a long period of time. Church starts in the morning. Church doesn't get out until the evening. I've gone to churches with other races, and churches lasted maybe two hours, and they were out. There's a diehard need within the African American people to be in church and be in the presence and be in that spiritual mind for a long time. That's because that's what we were created for. That's what we were supposed to remain true. But due to our own sins, we have been put under a punishment because we went after false gods. I looked at some of the videos of the Hebrew Israelites. They make a lot of good points. I do not like the format in which they make their videos. The yelling on the street is it's not helping anybody. It's not getting their point across. The way they belittle and chastise the people that they're supposed to be enlightening is not productive. It does not open a dialogue for communication. So I think the way they're going about it is completely wrong. The way they seem to preach hate can, seem, can go in that corner of a cult very, very quickly. You know what I mean? Instead of them being true to the dialect of and getting a correspondence with these other groups to enlighten one another, it seems like they're pointing their fingers at each other, at other people, and that's not a way to get anybody to open their minds or their hearts to anything. So the whole formula is completely wrong, in my opinion. I would personally never go to an organization like that or be part of anything like that. But I do believe in what they're saying. I just think that the way that they're getting it out and the way they're executing that plan is incorrect. I think that the church system itself, whether Catholic, Baptist, I you've seen my videos. If not, I encourage you to check them out on my channel. As I talk about the different groups, religions, Catholic versus Mormon versus Muslim, those in and of itself have their own things, but I think the church organization itself is put in a place to demonize and make and to and to put other groups down instead of what it's for, which is for you to connect with your creator. That's the whole purpose of it, but they create these hierarchies of this is the top person and they're under him and they're under him and they're under him. And it's all just in the way of what the true purpose of the church is. So that's one thing that I wanted to mention. This video is already going on 10 minutes long. I did not want to make a long video, you guys. I just wanted to give you an idea of where my head's at. If this is a topic that interests you, I encourage you to check it out. Look it up. 
do some research. Um, just try to take the information about slavery and the scriptures that they put together because there's a lot of it out there. There's no need for me to put that down in there. You guys can find that of your own accord. But take the information that it is and use it to shape your own opinions. But I would not encourage you to take away any of the hate that comes along with some of those videos and other the chastisements that they do to other people who are curious and want to hear them. It's kind of hard to receive information when you're being attacked at the same time. That I do not approve of, but this is something I've been thinking about. My eyes have been open to it. I wanted to share it with you guys, the public, and this is Anthony Young. This was particularly in the religious investigation category, but it was kind of a light, soft covering of the actual issue. If you want to look up more, be my guest, search on YouTube, search on Google, do your own research, come to your own understanding. I will talk to you guys later. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys again later. This has been Anthony Young, guys. Peace out.